Live from 42nd Street in New York City, you're watching Pick's Morning News. Plus, flower power is back. Really is. We I mean wouldn't it. kid you. No, it's flowers. True. They're not just for receiving. There you go, Lisa. Thank you. Or putting in your hair. They're also for mixing in some of the most refreshing drinks. I'm Lisa Mateo. We're giving you the recipes right after the break. Well, flowers are not just for sitting in vases looking pretty. More and more are being used in foods and drinks. Lisa Mateo is uh, telling us the latest fragrant trend. Lisa. That's right, guys. Flower power is back, but it's not the flower power of the 60s. It's all about cocktails infused with different botanicals, and they pack a powerful punch. <laughs> they bloom in the spring. Now flowers are blossoming into some of the most refreshing drinks. Over the last couple of years, it's a European trend that's coming over to New York now, infusing liquors, infusing alcohol with, with floral flowers. Benjamin Scora hey there. is the managing partner of Beekman Bar and Books. We're doing punches, we're doing um, herbally infused um, rum. The first drink is the Sapphire Lavender Collins. So how do we get this beautiful smell into here? Smells beautiful, right? Yes. We're going to take two ounces of Bombay Sapphire Gin. Then this is a lavender syrup from Monin. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do half an ounce. We're just going to balance it out with some citrus. So we need some lemon juice. One, two, three again. Fill the shaker with ice. Then pour. And then we're garnishing it with a little bit of lavender. And the taste? <laughs> That's all she needs to say. In honor of the summer months, there's the Flor de Caña Flip Flop Punch. We're going to start off with some white sugar. Okay. We're going to just drizzle a little bit of club soda on top. We're going to muddle the sugar down. For the flowery touch, add Flor de Caña Rum. We infuse it for about three hours with fresh chamomile tea. And then we're going to use some fresh grapefruit juice. And then just a little bit more club soda. Add a few cubes and stir. It's just really refreshing and the chamomile and it sounds sexy and it looks sexy. And it sounds sexy when you say it. Flip flop. Flip flop punch. <laughs> We're just going to put a little bit of ice in the glass. I think you're making fun of me, right? No, I love it. <laughs> there you have it, the fun and sexy flip flop punch. Nice. But for those who like to live on the edge, try the blood and sand cocktail. This is a really nice, refreshing summer cocktail. Sounds dangerous. And um, it's very, very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> but danger is his middle name. We're going to use equal parts of Glamorangi Signa, a single malt. We're going to use cherry herring, Antica Formula, sweet vermouth. Add orange juice and ice, then shake it, not stir. Mateo. <laughs> Top it off with flaming orange zest and it's ready to be served. Cheers. It was dangerous. Very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> and for a complete list of ingredients on any of these flower drinks, log on to our website, wpix.com slash morning news. And I have, okay guys, what do you have? This uh, one's for you. Thank you. Flower drink. Craig, oh, so hold pretty. up. Let me, let me hook you up. Oh, man. Oh, man. look out, Craig. Here we go. Whipped Got cream? It. <laughs> it's the Lisa Special. The Lisa Special. Cheer. Oh, wait, you need a little straw. Oh, thank you very much. The so Lisa fancy. Special. Wow. I, of course, I got to have one for me, too, because, you know. You get the big one? <laughs> I get the What's big that? one. What's that? And you know what? I can still look manly drinking this. <laughs> With an umbrella. <laughs> That's right. All right, still to come on the Picks Morning News is baseball's popularity in the ninth inning. We investigate the rise and fall of America's pastime. We'll be back in 60 seconds, folks. Cheers.